Hey guys, welcome back to the South Patera channel. And today we're gonna to talk about what could be an unbelievable court decision that could affect your ability to travel aboard Carnival Cruise Lines here in the United States. We're gonna be back to talk about it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for staying through the intro. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the little bell next to it, and that'll let YouTube let you know when we upload new videos. Also, before we talk about what could be an unbelievable precedent for Carnival Cruise Lines, first, I wanna talk about our channel. We're considering doing a live news show that will talk about all the cruise and travel news throughout the week every Friday evening. Want your opinion on it before we started? Is it something that you would watch, something that you would follow and be interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so let's talk about a federal judge and how she could impact your ability to take a cruise out of the United States. U.S. District Judge Patricia Seats said Wednesday that she made block corner from docking any of their ships here in the United States. The federal court judge says she will make the final decision in June after a hearing that she wants company chairman Mickey Arison and president Donald Arnold to attend. Now, if you've been following the situation, Carnival has been on probation for the last two years for dumping oil into the ocean for the previous eight years and lying about it to officials here in the United States. A five-year probationary period began in April 2017 and required regular inspections for all Carnival ships for the next five years. According to the Miami Herald, court filings while on probation, Carnival Corp and its subsidiary cruise lines have sought to avoid unfavorable filings by preparing ships in advance of court-ordered audits, falsifying records, dumping plastic garbage into the ocean, and illegally discharged gray water into Glacier Bay National Park in Alaska. Now, the Herald's also reporting that Carnival tried to lobby the United States Coast Guard through some back channels to try to get them on their side. And according to them, the Carnival Corporation has actually acknowledged that they've been doing this. In addition to possibly stopping Carnival ships from docking here in the United States, the judge also seems to want to hold some of the top executives criminally liable. The people at the top are treating this as a gnat, Judge Seat said. If I could, I would give all the members of the executive committee a visit at the detention center for a couple of days. It's amazing how that helps people come to focus on reality. In addition to the Carnival Cruise branded fleet, Carnival Cruise Lines is also the number one cruise operator in the world, owning lots of the world's cruise lines. The fleet includes Princess Cruise Lines, Seaborne Cruise Lines, Holland America, Cunard, Ada, Costa Cruises, P&O Cruises, and currently operates 104 ships around the world. All right, so let's talk about this and a little bit about my opinion on the subject. Obviously, I'm a little biased towards Carnival. I travel Carnival constantly. My channel here has a lot of videos about Carnival and it truly is a great cruise line. That being said, Carnival, if you watch my videos, and I know you do, we depend on these oceans. You depend on these oceans to make a living. Stop dumping in our world's oceans. Now, that being said, this judge is in a, an awful position because how do you really get a major corporation to stop doing this and to do what you want other than throw them in jail and face them with huge fines, which I think is the only thing you really can do. But to put out there that you may stop these ships from docking here in the United States, I don't know which would be worse, actually physically stopping them or putting this announcement in today that you might be physically stopping them. For the cruise business is a billion dollar business. Much of the United States tourism depends on this business. Not only just your cruise line ticket, all the hotels beforehand, the, the restaurants beforehand, all the communities, not only in the United States, but in other countries that these cruise ships visit all depend on these tourism dollars. And you wouldn't just be hurting the cruise line, you're gonna be hurting economies, millions of businesses around the world, as well as millions of travelers that planning their vacation on Carnival. By putting this out there today that you might be stopping it, who knows how many people aren't gonna book their cruises now. Now granted, that's gonna hit Carnival financially, and it probably should. But I think that you're much better if you're gonna find Carnival directly because they're gonna operate their ships no matter what. 
rather than cause all the subsequent people down the line that are going to lose those tourism dollars by people not going on cruises because of that threat you put out there today. And then if you ultimately close the United States cruise port so people can't board the cruise ship, I think you would be making a phenomenal mistake. You would be hurting economies and passengers all around the world and millions and millions and possibly even billions of, of dollars would be affected and it would truly hurt economies of other countries. So that being said, that's my little rant on it. Now, do I think this is actually going to happen? Absolutely not. Federal judges are pretty smart and while they're elected for life, so they really can't be kicked out of office for making uh, a mistake, I think this judge probably realized the effect this would have on the economy here and in other countries and won't actually close the port and will find another way to punish Carnival. And again, Carnival, clean up your act. You're my favorite cruise line in the world. We shouldn't be dumping anything into the world's oceans. There are other ways for you to get rid of your trash. So that being said, let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you on your next trip.